days here on Tierra Firme are dark and lonely. But to my mind, this, this is no place for men. The tribe has told me of a route, somewhat rough indeed, and as dangerous as any other that leads over the hills to a country washed in gold. What should be there to fear? Hideous witches with gold masks glittering in the night, or blasts from hell? What should be there to fear? My dreams are filled with it. Gold is all that sits on my lips these wretched days. Their wealth echoes in many stories across the land. They eat and drink from goblets made of gold. It surprises me we are so close to it. suffering condition at the end of our route. All was washed away by the sight of the city. I told my men our purpose will be fulfilled. It was all true. I cannot describe in words to the true merit of what my eyes saw there. Now we only need to return and bring more. For what awaits us on our return will cure any sickness. And it is plenty of it. My beloved, my heart won't sit still. It has been long since any of your words brought happiness to me and your son. The thought of you in that foreign strange place conjures monsters in my dreams. Faces of women and men dance before my eyes, pierced ears and lips, with gold mirrors in their nostrils, eyes like the darkest of pits. God gave you a life, and you made yourself another. To your men, you give your sword and tongue. To your son, you live by a ghost dream of a land with magic and riches. Vasco will have forgotten your face, as will I. If only you could see him grow in these last summer days.
my thoughts. As for my soul, it has drawn into madness. This very place daggers my mind. I told my men our purpose will be fulfilled, and it is all true. In return, it cursed us to dream of it. I remember the taste of wine pinching at my tongue, but my heart stays mute and dumb. And now, every dream is filled with a woman's figure, not with a face got molded from earth and dust, but from a shiny metal. And there's plenty of it here. <laughs>